So in this video, I'm going to be testing the new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 for vlogging. However, I do not trust myself to hold this phone in this position walking around for vlogging because let's face it, this is potentially a thousand dollars worth of phone that could end up smashed on a floor, which is why I'll be using my Flip 4 in this vlogging rig setup here because I can definitely get a good grip of what I'm doing as I'm walking about doing my vlogging with this rig. Now, a few things here, I'm going to only be using the main rear camera here, so the main wide camera. I will also be only using the internal microphones as well. Now, during the post-production process for the edit, I will not be touching the levels from the microphones or the picture that I get from the flip for so everything you see and hear in this video is exactly as it was recorded also i will only be using the basic samsung camera app that comes with the flip 4 and that app will be used in fully automatic mode as well and for anybody interested in this vlogging rig that i've put together for the flip 4 there will be a link at the end of this video and one in the description below taking you to a video showing you how i put this together also if you like the video at all as you're watching it please do give it a thumbs up it really does help the video on youtube and a subscription would be greatly appreciated anyways on with the vlogging test for the z flip 4 so the first test that i'm going to do is to see how well the internal microphones pick me up when i'm by a lot of other noise and when i say a lot of other noise i'm talking about a lot of traffic that's going on behind me here so just how well are these microphones able to pick me up against that lot of noise. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just go for a little bit of a walk in the park here and do some walking and talking vlogging. Although I will do a little bit of a sit down vlog as well after this take. Now, the reason why I did that thing by the busy road just then, which a lot of people might sit there and go, but hold on, I'm not gonna go standing by big loud noises when I'm doing my vlogging. Well, that's all good, but sometimes you don't know where you're gonna be when you're doing your vlog in which case it's always good to know how something will respond in particular like you know situations just as I did there by the busy road with all that noise so yeah something like that can be useful to know especially if you do plan on doing like very off the cuff vlogging so you might go somewhere and you don't really know where you're going you don't really know what you're going to do but what you really need to know is how well will your vlogging setup handle the variation on the environments that you're likely to go to to do some off the cuff vlogging now on that point of not really knowing where you might be going and not really knowing like the environments that you might be walking in and out of right now what i'm going to do is deliberately walk down a pathway where it goes quite dark like it is now because i've got a lot of tree cover and then shortly i will go back into light again and then I will go back into another dark area. Now, the reason why I'm going to do this is to give you an example of just how well this particular phone handles the auto exposure. Because the last thing you want to be doing when you're doing your vlogging is to have to kind of like mess around too much with settings and stuff because if you just want to get out and do off the cuff of vlogging you need to have everything in fully automatic and you also need to know exactly how well these things will perform especially to do with going into like light and dark areas so once again i'm about to go into a dark area under tree cover coming out of that bright area just then so this is definitely going to give us a really good idea of of like how this camera system on the flip four is handling like you know these kind of conditions where i'm just not kind of paying any attention to do with anything to do with like you know manual anything with the camera i just want to pick it up hit record and just go and now the last thing that i'm going to do here just to give an example of this particular vlogging setup is to just sit down and do some vlogging here on the park bench now it has gotten a little bit breezy again as i've been walking around hopefully this is not so much breeze that it's going to cause interference with the microphones and stuff if it has done we will clearly hear that but if it hasn't done that then 
that's really good anyway so yeah sitting down doing vlogging is something that a lot of people like to do quite often people will just put their smartphone or whatever vlogging device they're on they might just put it on a tripod and put it on a table in this instance i'm obviously still just holding it in my hand with this rig that i'm using and the reason why once again is just to give people a really good idea about what this is like using it as a sit down vlogging thing and the reason why is because a lot of different people for a lot of different reasons would prefer to sit down and do their vlogs anyways that should just about do it for this video then and hopefully i've given enough examples of this particular setup doing this vlogging thing as i've been walking around and also sitting down now there will be links to all the stuff that i've used in the video in the video description below and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing to my channel and getting on that bell notification icon to be notified of similar videos to this one in the future i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now <laughs> <laughs>